So here, they're, they're telling us directly, and notice, you know, that the sphere are fractalizing to smaller and smaller outside and fractalizing towards singularity on the inside. Now, <laughs> that's just incredible. And that's not the only thing they've been contacting us with. A year after the Arizibo uh, message reply, to the date, so this was a year prior, right? So the Arizibo message came in. At the bottom of the Arizibo message, there was a technology which they had put a year prior, right? Now we're going to go a year after, so last summer, midsummer, a cross circle occurred exactly the same day, but a year a year later, and this one was an enormous crop circle, almost two football field long. Again, across a large installation communication antenna which has security all around it right across road this is a huge crop circle can everybody see what it is it's the side view of an alien head with a big eye the nose the mouth can everybody see that Oh, yeah. You see it better here? Yeah. See his eye, his nose, his mouth. And look up here in front. He's got a hand like this. Right? It's the other hand. Right? Like this. And he's holding on to a CD. <laughs> that's his thumb here, and that's his hand. Okay? He's holding on to a CD. He figured, you, they figured those guys are at CD technology level. We'll burn them one. <laughs> <laughs> so they burned us a CD, and sure enough, on the CD is a string of a bar binary code. What happens when you play that CD? Well, that binary code was decoded. And here's what it says. Be aware of false gifts, their broken promises. This was last summer. Have we seen broken promises this year? <laughs> oh my God. This is very interesting. Much pain, but still time. Certainly a message of hope for all the people that have been working towards a new way of doing things on this planet. Believe there is good out there. And then we oppose deception and the end has a bell sound this is an ASCII code so there's a bell sound typically to end a transmission so I haven't had time to work on this so much because I'm publishing a unified field theory with a lot of math and a lot of work in it and so I haven't had time to work on this, but I am uh, convinced that the, there is an underlying code as well in this. Because these capitalizations are actually part of the code. So if you only read the words that are capitalized, you have false, broken promises, pain, belief, good OP deception I don't know what OP deception is could be other people it could be many things 
But uh, go ahead. Are the capitals at the beginning of the sentences part of the code? Yes, they are. How about the office of the president? Office of the President. <laughs> 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 the Office of President Deception. We have, we definitely have seen this this year. Does the bell sound have a certain frequency? I don't think it does because it's just uh, it's just an ASCII code, you know, that gives a bell sound. So I don't think it has a specific frequency to it. Um, so this is a direct communication. My friend, go ahead. You kept saying a date that they see this one day, the same next year, the same day, the next year, the same day. Yeah. You know what date then? Well, it's August 15th, I believe. I'm not sure on that. You might have to verify. And I've been going on the net this year to see the crop circles of August, and the, the page is not updated past the, the 10th or the 11th. So, I, you know, I'm anxiously waiting to see if there's been another uh, message this year, uh, you know, direct binary message. There's been many crop circles this year. Usually, apparently, August 15 is always close to this radio telescope. I'm sorry? Is this close to radio telescope? Well, it's in England. Uh, the, the two that we saw... Uh, the two first ones were right beside the radio telescope. The third one is further uh, from the radio telescope, but then again, it's right beside a, a huge uh, repeater antenna, which implies communication. So here, we're being talked to directly. They are getting closer and closer to contact. We're going to see this afternoon a little bit more of the influence that other species in our galaxy may have had on our planet early in its evolution and how that relates to our current physics and how that relates to the physics that I'm presenting to you today. Because there's a direct relationship. And it has to do with some of the monuments that are found all around the Earth. So when you look at this, there is crop circles all around the world that are telling us about this structure, this structure of the vacuum. But when you look at nature, see the proof of the pudding is that in this case, all of nature is included. Because you see, if you take Einstein field equations, for instance, there is no human being that live in that world. There is nothing in Einstein's field equation that describes how you got here. Okay? Then you can't put human beings in there. If you look at quantum equations for subatomic particles, there is nothing in that world in which you exist, neither. It's all probabilities. But if you have a unified field theory, then it should include all of the biological resolution. Okay? Well, when you look at biology, when you look at nature, what do you see? You see highly organized system that generate fractal structures everywhere. Where is the fractal coming from? Look at the branch of a tree. They're all fractal structures. Look at the way the grass grows. They're all fractal structures. The way plants grow, 
the nervous system of your body, the veins of your body, all fractals, all very specific fractals that obey actually the phi ratio, 1.618, always 1.618, smaller and smaller or bigger and bigger, just like your finger. The, the end of your finger is 1.618 smaller than the middle part, and the middle part is 1.618 small, uh, bigger than, uh, smaller than the, the third part. And your finger compared to your hand is 1.618 smaller, and your hand to your forearm is 1.618, and again and again, your whole body, all fractal structures everywhere in nature, 